Hey, what is up, Slime Pat Pat Nation? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. All you got to do is subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever it is, any one of those, and you'll be a part of the Slime Pack Nation family. But we're going to go ahead and jump into what this video is about. So we're going to go ahead and talk about this low and get that part out the way. So I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know I'm previously recording this part because the rest of this blog will probably be at night most of it will be at nighttime so we got a load picking up in greenfield indiana or indianapolis whichever one and this is a two-stop load after the pickup so i'm gonna be dropping off in i got two stops in ohio so supposedly this load is only supposed to be twenty-two thousand pounds um the first stop supposed to be taking six thousand pounds off and then the last stop taking 15,000 pounds off. It is a dropping hook at the pickup. And of course the rest of the other stops is a live unload. So hopefully these unloads be in and out because they don't have to take much off. Currently the date that I'm recording this video, it is April the 17th. Um, I'm getting my 10 hour break in. And then after that, I got about 30 miles to travel to pick up this load. It's a dropping hook at the old one at the Smithfield. So I'm gonna drop this trail off there, pick up my load at the Smithfield, and then drive about, I think it was 300 something miles. I'm gonna try to get over there towards my first stop and park at a truck stop. I already got a truck stop in mind and y'all already know. It's a loves, of course, I'm a loves girl. And we're gonna park there until it's close to our appointment time. Our appointment time is not until 2300. Convert that into, you know, the regular standard time that is 11 p.m. So we're going to try to arrive over there maybe around 9.30. And then the last stop appointment time, not until I think is 6 a.m. in the morning. And that's probably like, I think it was like a few miles away from the second stop. So they within distance, but I wish they would kind of like put the stops in order because I'm actually passing by my last stop to go to the first stop and then have to come back and go to the last stop if y'all get what I'm saying. So yeah, that's the info for this load. Um, uh, The load temperature is 28 degrees. Loaded miles is 355. Empty miles is 36 with a total of 391 miles. But when we put it in the GPS, it's going to be 400 something miles. And the load is paying $1,282.11, as y'all can see right there. So, you know, that's pretty good right there. That's about like, what, $3 a mile load? So, starting this week off pretty good. But, you know, it is what it is. As long as I'm bringing in some income, it's a win-win. So, make sure y'all like this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Ugh, seems like my words ran together. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Go over to Facebook, follow me, like, comment, share, and yeah, y'all, let's get into the video. All right, just got done doing one of the most important part of the business and how we get paid, sending in paperwork. And I had to hit them with that stamp right there, try to make sure I get paid. But yeah, this paperwork won't, won't that much. All right, we're about to skim through the fuel real quick. So Prime had recommended that I fill up at Love's number 601 with fuel being the price of $2.98. But the thing is, I'm getting ready to pop it up there on the screen for y'all. Currently, currently where I'm parked at, fuel is already $2.98. So I might as well get fuel here instead of having to make an extra stop on my route whenever i can just get fuel here so that's what i'm gonna do um i don't think i'm gonna fill up i don't think i'm gonna fill up at all i'm gonna just fill up for this trip because i'm not sure how freight is because if freight is anything how it was whenever i was last out then yeah we just gonna fill up for this trip it's a total of i'm gonna just say i'm gonna fill up for 450 miles so Go to my calculator. 
450 miles. We're going to divide that by, we're just going to say truck getting 8 miles per gallon. So we need 56 gallons of fuel. Fuel is $2.98. So that's about how much I'm going to be spending in fuel for this trip. That's how I calculate my stuff. What is up, Slum Pad Pad Nation? This is the same day. It's just nighttime. It's currently like 11.30 p.m., somewhere around that time. And I'm about to fuel up real quick. Uh-oh. My wallet. Okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna put like 60 gallons in. need my phone all right there we go all right slime pad nation i got something to say without being disrespectful mean or i don't know i'm gonna just say it whenever it comes to people like you know people viewers that watch videos it's like the ones that critique the most but don't make content like it's a lot of work that goes into making this content, setting up cameras, the editing process. It's like when people just critique, say, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, you need to do it this way, do it that way. Like, you know, pressuring you, like telling you what you need to be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. Like at this point, it's like, how about you do that? And you go make your own videos. Like telling you, how much to talk, <laughs> how little to talk, like critiquing every single thing, not not like giving advice saying like, hey, you ever thought about doing it this way or doing it that way, like that, but just telling you what you should and shouldn't do. I don't necessarily like that, but I know that's how people are. Trailer. But y'all get what I'm saying? But y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I'm a nice person. And I try to say things in a way that it don't hurt people's feelings because I can be very blunt at times. It's like, I can say stuff and I don't be meaning no harm, but I guess how, how I say it, people just get so sensitive and in an uproar about things but i'm gonna just say it like this if you don't like the way a person make their videos just don't watch their channel or just go make some videos the way that you like to watch videos already know what's next coffee ice water hit the road I had originally planned to get my truck washed tonight because I didn't want to get it washed on my last trip because I needed all that money to cover my truck payment and everything for the week I was on home time But uh, if that truck wash is packed, we definitely gonna have to skip on and catch a truck wash the next time. Why does love set up like a pilot? It's giving me like pilot vibes.
orange juice. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Hi, mom. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Pretty good. Is that a dash camera? Huh? What is that? A, a GoPro. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> <Is that everybody? laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, you get a coffee. Yeah. 37, please. Put a bag? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you like receipts today? Nah, that's fine. You have a nice day. Well, thank you. Excuse me. She said, hi, mom. So hopefully her mom is watching this video. I know we got like a 30 mile drive to pick up at another Smithfield dropping hook. Y'all, the life of a truck driver. It's like, you know, our job never ends. We nap, get back up, and go to work. I got one cup of ice for my orange juice. I ain't gonna pour that yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour my water. So yeah, I'll see y'all whenever I get to the Smithfield. This load better be ready.
back to what I was saying. My plan was to get over here, pick this load up, hit the road and be already parked by 6 or 7 a.m. Then I was gonna get my 10 hour reset in and then head over towards my first drop off location. But of course in trucking, things don't always go according to plan. So right now, we're getting ready to bobtail over here to the parking. Or they said I can park in front of my trailer that they loading. That would be perfect. I can go ahead and get that hook up and pick up inspection out of the way. checked in with the shipping office she said that they just started filling this order so we'll see how long it takes what i'm about to do is they let me park in front of the trailer i'm about to go around and do my little trailer inspection so once it's time for me to send in my macro i'll be done did it well most of it Determine that in a Five 
give it the best. That pen still got to come out. Let me check the other pins. Hopefully they got cold enough. So, let's go ahead and put our trip in. Dang, where I'm going to first. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna call them while I'm driving to see if they will unload me early. If not, then this is where I'm stopping as I discussed before. Cause, wait a minute, let me see. It might Start be- Start navigation. You are heading to Lineage Solon, Ohio. Okay. Might be some parking closer. It's a pilot, but that's way off my route. This is a rest area. How many miles away is this? That's 282. And the Lulz is... It's a TA right there. The Lulz is 258 away, so... Hmm... My trip is 301 miles. 50 miles, you know what? Forget it. I'm gonna go to Lowe's. Start navigation. You are heading to Lux Travel Stop 332 Burbank, Ohio. Yep. Hopefully, you know, it's 6.43. By the time I get 
on the interstate. It'll be a good seven o'clock. Hopefully I can be parked by 11.25. That'll put me getting my time back around like nine something. I could be leaving by 10. My appointment time is at 11.30. So, 11.30 tonight and 8 in the morning. I'm trying to have a fresh clock. Because I already done paused my clock from sitting over here. You have 8 hours and 0 minutes of remaining drive time. 10 hours and 19 minutes of driving. So, yeah. Let's go.